Hello everybody, it's the Doctor. Welcome back to Star Trek Online. We are going to take our bulwark now through the ringer in all of the Borg Elite STFs starting with ice. Now naturally this is not a hard STF and it goes rather quickly. So I probably will not have the chance to use all of my abilities to the best of their ability. But at least you will get to see it uh, against the Borg. So that'll be fun. I'll use what I can, when I can. And I don't know why I just clicked that button. We'll launch my fighters and then we'll cloak. And everybody's already there for some reason. Decloak and fire. Yeah, that went fast. So again, I know this one's going to go rather quickly, but um, hey, that's the way it goes. We will add your technological and biological decisions to our own. Problemo. My weapons are firing, even if you can't see how it fires. Wrong thing, success. though. Of course, I can cloak while in battle. I love being able to do that. That's that battle cloak. Turning is the hardest part of this ship, like I get in a situation like this, trying to turn around. That's why I love having this um, emergency powered engines. It just helps me turn a lot better when I need to. So yeah, there, there's a graphic graphics glitch in this game where um, sometimes your graphics don't show up, even though they are there and your ship is firing. Sometimes it looks like it's not. But it is. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm going to turn that immu uh, immunity thing on. Ooh. Taking a lot of damage, actually. But I was able to maintain, I was able to survive. And that's the beauty of a ship like this. And ta-da, we're done.
So there you go. That is Infected Space Elites into Voth Bulwark. Uh, took a lot of damage there at the end, was definitely, but I was able to survive. I got tons of heals, and that is very important. Even on a ship like this, still very important. I, I was always using my Voth fighters all the time, so they were hopefully doing something. I tried the acetone, Aceton mode once, didn't really help much. Um, the reflective immunity matrix, it came on, but I don't know if it stayed on. It like disappeared on me. Although, as I mentioned, there is a graphical glitch. Sometimes your graphics glitch out. They don't show up even though they're there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to queue up for a CSC, and we will do that, so hang tight. All right, everybody, welcome back. So here we go. This is CSE, your space elite in the bulwark. Let's see how she does. We're doing right, middle, left. Somebody's guarding Kang. As always, I always keep an eye out anyway on whoever is doing the Kang and just look around and make sure there's no ships going for the Kang. If I do see any ships, I immediately turn tail and uh, try to take them out and help help the Kang person. All right, let's launch fighters and I'm gonna cloak. And uh, let's do this thing. Now, this one does drain quite a bit of power from your ship. I probably am gonna have to heal quite a bit but that's okay. I've got the heals to do it. It's trying to drain my shields. More shields failing. And it's doing a good job. <laughs> This is 
resistance is futile. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> There we go, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to use Aceton mode on uh, our enemy here, our main one. I did use the uh, immunity matrix back there on the second cube, but it disappeared pretty fast on me, just like it did the first time. Not sure what's up with that. It was on, but it didn't last very long. It didn't last as long as it's supposed to last. Unless the graphics are just glitching out, and it really did. Nice and easy. So that's CSE in the Voth Bulwark. It's just very hard to maneuver. It's very hard to maneuver, so it just kind of sits there. <laughs> and the problem with the with it sitting there is that it takes so much damage from like the cube and everything trying to drain your shields that um, just sitting there is is, is really bad. <laughs> But anyway, I was able to sustain myself. Alright, I'm going to queue up for Case, so stand by. Alright, welcome back everybody. Here we go, Case, get him record Space Elite in the Bulwark. Let's see how this thing does. I'm going to go left, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I can solo an entire generator by myself it will take me a while because I just don't do a lot of damage but we shall see what happens I should be able to solo tank a cube easily but I don't know about soloing an entire end by myself it's just, I could it'll just take a while I'm using the Aceton, you can see my ship was lighting up from from that. Four shields failing. Falling into 
Oh crap, what hit me? Something hit me with a ton of damage. Did you see that? I almost died. That was nuts. Yeah, whatever that was, I don't know, but it hit me with... I mean, if I was a normal regular ship, I would have died just then. Yeah, this is the problem with beams, obviously. You just do, you just do a lot less damage. But it's really the only option for this ship. I can, um, I can um, broadside with this ship and still fire my torpedo, which is nice. Because the torpedo is wide angle. So that's nice right there. My shields are failing. That gate, gosh, I hate that gate. Doing pretty good so far. Had some close calls, but was able to come out of it. We will add your technological and biological decisions to our own. Want to use the aceton on the gate? Have to get really close to do it, though. That's the only bad part. And it does work, but uh, just have to get really close to it. See, there's my ship turning all rainbow-like. <laughs> Well, they already brought their side down. Wow. Good for them. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Right shields failing. All my shields Eight failing. Shields failing. <laughs> Yes, that was nice. Cloaky, cloaky, cloak.
is futile. Come on, I thought I could take that. I actually I could have if my shield strength was all the way up, but it wasn't all the way up. <laughs> but I believe I could have taken that. Oh, uh, here's the re res. There we go, I got to use the res for the first time. The reward repair ship. <laughs> That's what it does, it revives you kind of instantly. So now we finally got to see it at the very end. I had to blow up, of course. See, I forgot all about the ward repair ship. Because <laughs> you don't really use it much, especially if you don't blow up. Uh, you just never really get to see it. But then when you do blow up, it's that it's there and you get to uh, use it. Call repair ship. Revive, now revived. Yada, yada, yada. That's it, really. That's all it does. I wish it was a ship I could have sitting out beside my ship that would like instantly revive me the moment I blew up. Instead of having to push a button. Wish it did it automatically, but... Anyway, um, there you go, guys. That is a good look so far at the Voth Bulwark. I've tried to use all the abilities on it that I can natively. You know, the native abilities that it has. The um, Voth Fighters, the Aceton, which is part of the science ship, really. The uh, immunity, immunity Matrix, which is part of the Bastion cruiser. And then the Ward Repair Ship I just got to use. And that's really the special features about it. And I always keep forgetting, though, to use the command mode. I guess I should do that. I f keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> I think because I've run out of uh, button space here and I have it on my fourth row, I need, a, I need it to put it somewhere else, really, so that I can remember to use it. Okay, well, that's going to wrap up our, our Borg Elite STFs in space. And uh, next... I believe that I am going to do some Undine Battles. I'll take it in the Undine Battle Zone, and we'll do a full round of Undine Battle Zone on it. How about that? And then we'll wrap up with our final conclusion on it. But that kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect with the ship if you're interested in it or um, ever acquire it, or whoever has one of these already gives you an idea of the potential of it, maybe. So, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. And stay tuned for the next one.